the Showtime offense, something that, something that we do. A lot of people break records. For example, X broke the all-purpose yards record last game. You know, so it's just something that happens in the offense. Uh, you know, I don't set personal goals uh, as stats. I really more or less just like to win. And you know, if we can get it, go out and win the game on Saturday, that's the only stat that really matters to me. I got I got an email from Coach uh, Coach Cole. It was about a page and a half email um, about a week before my senior season. Uh, and then he called me on the phone, and once we had that conversation, I, I kind of felt a connection to Coach Cole. Uh, I had a really good relationship with my high school coach, and I wanted that same thing with my offense coordinator, head coach here, and that's what I was able to do. And you know, the recruiting process didn't quite go the way I thought it would. You know, I thought maybe I'd be a D1 guy, but you know, uh, you know, the cards fell as they may, and you know, I ended up being at Tuscaloosa College, walked on campus here, and I knew this was a place for me. Yeah, I, I guess to say I wasn't didn't have a strong enough arm, not tall enough, not fast enough, and you know, uh, that's definitely a chip on my shoulder. I love to you know prove people wrong. And, Maybe compete a lot harder here, and it's definitely motivating me to get better day by day here. Well, actually, uh, my first my first year I think was first grade. I played uh, guard. Yeah. Uh, then going into second grade, uh, they told me I was going to play center, and I was I was all excited because I got to touch the ball. And we had a throwing competition. I ended up throwing it the farthest, so I ended up starting quarterback. And mm -hmm. ever since then, I've been starting quarterback. I, uh, I I just like a challenge. You know, every week defense does different things, and you know I've, I've seen a lot of different defenses, but it seemed like every week we're seeing something different. And mm -hmm. I love the challenge. I love getting to be a leader. I love you know getting the ball every play, and you know mm -hmm. having the ball in my hands, trying to make plays for our team, and help us win. You know, we have some great receivers, and they they've helped me out a lot. And uh, there have been a lot that've gone have gone through and graduated, and you know, mm -hmm. done a great job. And now we have X and Funny and. Uh, you know, uh, Houston and Wes, and they, they've been doing a great job for us. I mean, it's been a learning curve, but we worked real hard in the off season. You know, people like Kyle Dickey, Matt Lamont, Jonathan Gilberto. You know, we all worked together in the off season. We were able to get accustomed with each other. Uh, yeah, it was, it was in the fourth quarter. I was actually a toss pass, and you know, I took a bad step, kind of had my foot in a little hole, and I heard it crack, and you know, ended up being broke. It was one of those freak injuries. You know, we have a guy on our team this year, Cornbread, who mm -hmm. who had a freak injury as well. It's just. You know, you know, I, I think it was God's will, and it was it was a plan that He had for me, and I think I got a lot better from it. I, I didn't know it was serious. I, I looked at someone at the end of the game, and I told him I thought my foot was broke. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but at that time when I said that, I, I didn't know if yeah. it was broke or not. I just had a feeling, and you know, it ended up being broke. And like I said, I just feel like it was it was definitely God's plan. You know, we, we uh, we're playing top of the next game. Kyle Dickey was quarterback. We kept saying all week we can go deep first play, which would have been the plan with me in there too. And yeah. I was just thinking if I was back there, I get to throw the ball deep, try to make a play for the team, but. You know, the people that stepped up, Tori Slave and Dickey, they did a great job coming in and playing for me. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, I got a lot better from it. I feel like the team grew a lot because of that yeah. as well. I think the overall recovery was about 10 weeks. Uh, I got hurt uh, week three, so it, it put us about you know two weeks after the season when I was fully healed. Um, you know, I had a friend of mine, Zach Self, you know, Wesley Powell, who we worked real hard on getting me a lot of throws in. Uh, I threw on one knee every day at practice. You know, whether we doing, we're doing team or individual, I was always on a knee throwing, and trying to get my arms stronger, and just, just honestly trying to help the quarterbacks as much as possible so they felt comfortable so they could help us win games. Uh, you know, the rehab process was slow, but it was worth it, and you know, I think my foot's actually stronger now than it was because of it. You, you really get to see, it's, it's almost, it's watching live film, that's what it's like. A lot of the film we've been doing Monday and Tuesday, it's exactly like that. You know, I'm getting to see the defense and the different coverages, you know, why Coach Cole was calling plays. Coach Cole and I really got on the same page, and I think that's really helped me mm. and helped uh, helped the team out a lot as well. It, it was it was extremely frustrating. Uh, it, it, it's, it was definitely tough for us to just score six points, but it was motivation. You know, we came out, and last week we had the best week of practice we've had all year, and we actually we scored 49 points, and those points we've scored all year. Granted, we had the kickoff team help us a little bit with that, but uh, we put up a lot of points, and we, we took it uh, – we obviously didn't take it for granted that we scored six points, and we worked hard last week and got better from it. <clears throat> At the beginning of the year, my decision-making wasn't very good. Uh, it had been a year since I'd seen a pass for us, and I had a little happy feet. I was moving around way too much. I've gotten better with that. I feel like my decision-making needs to get better. I continue to work on arm strength and accuracy and just getting the time down with the receivers. Uh, I like to be perfect with the receivers. Once they're out of the break, I like the ball to be right there. And until that happens, I'm not going to be content. Uh, until we win all our games, I won't be content, and I think that's something I'll keep working on with the team. My mom, uh, when I was younger, she worked with a program called Needs, which helps uh, less fortunate kids get school supplies for school. And I helped my mom out with that a lot when I was in middle school and high school. And she she kind of harped on me that I need to help the community because you know God gave me you know a platform being the quarterback of the football team to be able to help the community. Uh, we're actually trying to get a. a a uh, group of kids together uh, in the off season to help at the Holston Homes for Kids and maybe the Nice Longer Children's Hospital. So we're excited for that. And any way we could help the community because they help us out a lot, we, we'd love to do that. 
Uh, I like to play the saxophone, actually. I know it's kind of a weird talent. I was in jazz band all throughout high school, loved playing the saxophone. Uh, anytime I can go back to Cincinnati and hang out with my family, I do it. Uh, this summer I had an internship here at Landair in Greenville, which was it was tough to be away from the family, but I got to meet so many awesome people and just love being here, and I'll probably be here next summer as well because of it. I'm majoring in uh, business administration, uh, concentration of management, and minoring in international business. I love, love the idea of international business, and, and I love sales. That's what I did this summer. Uh, I talked to Mr. Nicewanger a lot this summer, and you know Matt Anderson, my boss, this summer about sales, and I feel like that's something I definitely want to do. Uh, maybe if I can get my MBA, uh, and then maybe stay here and work at Land Air, and you know see where I can be in that company. I, I love that company a lot. Like I said, I love having the ball in my hands. But again, you know if we have to hand the ball off 40, 50 times in a game to win, I say we do it because you know we've broken a lot of records, we have put up a lot of stats here, but we haven't been able to win that much since I've been here. You know as many wins as we can get, and you know definitely graduate with one or two sack championship rings, and that's the goal.